Hi guys, welcome back to Android Geeks. Today we will learn how to do data binding in Android. So anyone who has written more than one Android app will soon realize that your activity or fragment gets blotted with boilerplate code for wiring up your UI elements with a Java code, which is tiresome and makes your code look ugly and it's bad. So data binding is here to make it easier and help you write more clean code and make Android development fun again. So, let's just see an example of uh, data mining in action. So, consider this layout which has uh, a text view called text title 1, another text view called text title 2 and a button change. So, usually how we go about implementing this in an activity is we come here then declare each uh, element as uh, variables and then find them and find, use the function find view by id <coughs> to get a reference of them from the layout. So this can go really out of hand when there is a lot of elements. This is a unnecessary work. It's a very repeating and unnecessary work which we want to eliminate. So let's see how to use data binding to get rid of all this code. So we don't need this. We'll delete this. <coughs> okay. So let's let's just go to the build uh, Gradle file and uh, enable the data binding so this is the uh, project gradle file so if you come to the project file so this is the gradle file that goes inside the app folder so we open that then inside the android section we declare a new section called data binding and we set it as enabled so so we just set that and let's sync the project. So let's wait uh, till the project is. So by putting this in this uh, statement then in this Gradle file, we have enabled data binding for the project. Okay, let it sync. So by the meantime, you can go to the um, layout. So this is how a normal layout looks like. The root maybe root of the file will be usually a, a linear layout or relative layout or something else. But in order to make it uh, data binding enabled, we have to declare that inside a new tag known as layout. So the whole layout code will go inside this new tag. So once you put it inside, it's a data binding enabled layout. So then we come back to the activity. So what? What uh, this layout does is, in the background, Android Studio will convert or whatever that is, that is inside this uh, layout tag into a separate class known as the. It will depend on the name of the file. So here, the name of the file is activity main. So our uh, the name of our class will be activity main binding. So we come to the activity uh, file and declare a variable of the class. Hmm. activity main binding so this may take some time to be generated because this is generated in the background uh, by android studio so we declare a variable called data binding so this this variable data binding is the one who is going to hold uh, all the references to the view elements so in a data in a data binding enabled activity we don't need to call the set content view functions. So instead, uh, instead of the set content view uh, function, we call the um, set set content uh, method inside the data data binding util class. So this data binding util class is a, is a utility class for the data binding framework to set all the contents and other, other things. So we pass in the activity and the layout ID. So what this function does is it actually internally calls the set content view function and returns back a uh, reference of a re reference of an object to a activity main binding object. So right now our activity is wired to the to our layout layout file. So next we will see how to access all the other um, UI elements and uh, actions in the, in a layout. So. Let's just run the app and see if everything works till now. 
so command r so it's building okay so our app works there are no errors luckily okay so we show title 1 title 2 and a button change that does nothing so let's say let's let's just go and change some values so let's just access the title 1 so we just go about like this we call the object data binding and dot txt title 1 so as simple as that dot set text Put, we'll put welcome. So on the next one, we'll put data binding dot text. So text. Android gigs. Let's just run that and see. So yes, it works. So the title has been changed to welcome and the second title has been changed to Android Gates. So data menu works right now. So let's just go and wire up the button. So data binding dot bit dot set on click listener. And add a quick listener so here. So we'll do data binding dot text on dot set text will make it goodbye goodbye data binding dot text title to dot set text and x okay so let's just run this and see Yes, so it, it has run now. So let's just go ahead and click the button. Change, yes. So when I click the button, it became good. The text type and text in the title changed to goodbye and Android X. Okay, so it works. So uh, just by adding these two lines in our Gradle file and putting all our uh, layout tags into a root layout tag, we have enabled data binding in our application and we were able to reduce a lot of boilerplate code in our activity file so let's just take it to a next level so instead of so if we can actually get rid of all this set text functions if, if we actually bind the data to the text fields so let's see how we can do that so inside the layer tag declare a tag called data so data tags hold data which can be bound to the layout directly so we will declare a variable inside so variable can have a name so we will make it a name on as title one and the type can be string and uh, we need another variable for the second title we will name it as title two uh, that will also be string So let's see how to use that. So we'll come to the activity file and instead of using the set text function, we'll just call data binding dot set title one. Welcome data binding dot set title title two set title two as what our title is so the same thing we can do here also we can get rid of the set text things so welcome becomes <coughs> goodbye so let's just see if this works looks like that didn't work okay yes so we have actually set the title on and title to here but we haven't wired the text views actually to the variable so you come here so instead of putting it like text one we use this tags at uh, curly braces and instead we, we use the variable whatever variable name you want to assign it here so it will be title one and in this case it will be 
type to two. So let's see if this works. See, as you see, uh, there is no placeholder text right now. I mean, you can't see the text views actually here. So in order to uh, see it there, you can add a default tag. And also uh, here, so okay, now it works. You can see the you can see whatever title we set here comes here. So let's go ahead and click this thing. Yes, so the listener button click listener also works, and uh, the set title are also working. So that's it on getting started with data mining in Android. So this is just a bare starting point for data binding you can actually do a lot other cool stuff like transforming text or hiding and showing views in layout depending on certain conditions etc so we'll cover all those in following videos if you like the video please press the like button and also subscribe to the channel we'll be releasing new videos every week also share the video with your colleagues or friends Near social media or slack which will help us a lot and yeah that's it so until next time bye guys